Yo, if you enjoyed the intro, hit the like button below to help me out. This game here is against Nivea in Low Master. And I'm taking this Conqueror setup again. I kind of like it a lot. And yeah, just try and get out. Probably going to try some different builds in the future, but I went the standard Eclipse, Profane, uh, Edge of Night, and then Grudge, I think, this game. Um, and yeah, the plan against Anivia is just to kind of wait for first recall, and then after first recall, it gets a lot easier after level 6. It's kind of easier, although he gets Wave Clear. Um, but yeah, we also take Teleport and Flash. He has Ignite this game, but Teleport is uh, better, so... It's good to go teleport against a lot of ranged champions, and maybe you can go ignite against some melee ones, um, if you'd like. But yeah, let's see how this game went. So, Anivia spotted me, and I'm kind of just defending my jungler, or my jungle's wraiths, just in case their jungler runs in, which is fine to do, uh, if you're not feeling as greedy. I noticed Anivia didn't actually buy potions, I was like, oh, that's really, really greedy of him. Um, but yeah, right here I walk back around, like, the bush, because I was scared that he would poke me. But then he does anyways. Either way, the Q went through the minions, so I'm quite happy with that. Because it means if I lost it things properly, you know, right at the end, and I don't Q through two of the minions like that, um, you know, very precisely just queuing them, the wave will push into me. So, yeah. That's how you want to play, kind of. Just play back, play pretty chill. He hits level 2, which is fine. His E doesn't have much range, just like his auto attack range is about the same, so... The only thing I need to be careful of is his Q, since that has more range, and usually it's hard for him to hit it anyways. And since he's used his Q, I'm going to walk up for these CS, I think. And get two of them. Use my W. Right there I go in, but it's probably not too good. Luckily his uh, Q missed me. And, and I actually get up, uh, I actually managed to get three CS, which is pretty good. When I went in my W there. And I have a new, a new new jungle, so it's always really nice to have. Just go straight in. And then his egg is... <laughs> I can hit him outside his tower, so it sucks for that guy. I ping him off and I take the kill. So that's actually really lucky. Usually, you know, um, the junglers, they don't play ganking junglers. So you'd have to like suffer more against these range champs. But it's always really nice to have skirmish heavy jungle support. Because that means that you can actually um, like win in the early game. Uh, against the range champs like range champs are usually just countered by early game skirmishes and like heavy skirmish jungle supports so this game i have nunu leona which is really really nice because it means after first recall and after level six things should get like even better um you know if nunu didn't gank there then he could come back at like level six or something and we'd probably win um we would win 3v3s with leona nunu uh, as long as i'm like even or ahead so that works Right here I used teleport to go back to lane, but I don't think it's that good uh, because the wave was actually very well pushed in and like the wave after the one that I pushed in crashed as well, the first three minions and when that happens usually it's not good to teleport. Um, yeah, so if I just walked I would have gotten pretty much all except one. I might have missed that one CS that I just got there. Um, so holding teleport is better here, but either way it's fine. You want your teleport to come back up around minute 10. Um, so. It's fine to use it there, and this is a way to trade against Nivea. You walk up, you W, E, you Q, and then once she uses Q, you can take your W to jump over it. It's a nice little solo kill there. Just a flash E on the end to kill him. Uh, Conquer is really nice against Nivea as well, uh, especially if the Nivea is not good and they waste Q, and they don't, like, space properly, or position properly. If they position properly, so I guess, like, a, a really good Nivea, it would probably be better to go first strike. Because then you can poke and just keep getting gold and scale that way instead. But this Navia is kind of bad, so I just went all in. And notice how I don't push the wave, because it's a nice wave here. I can deny him the next wave, which I did. And now he's back in lane, so I just let it crash. But then I'm thinking I could have thinned it better, which is a mistake here. So I'm just going to jump over his Q and my W, because I don't want to get take too much damage. But yeah, I could have thinned the wave a bit more if I took into account Anivia's pathing back to lane after he respawned. So that's a small mistake I made there. And right here I'm just waiting. Leona missed, so it's fine. I don't want to be too impatient. I have eight, 900 gold, so I need like... Um, I think like 600 more gold for Eclipse. That's what I really want. It's really, really nice to rush Eclipse as Zed. It's like a really, really good item. And right here I'm waiting for... 
the level 6, so that's why I use my W forwards. I'll rewind it to show as well. Luckily the viewer missed a Q at the end actually. But right here, something you can do is when you're level 5 and you have a few minions until 6. So right here, you can see my XP bar bottom, or XP bar at the bottom uh, next to my Q. So I'm 1 minion off 6, so I use my W forwards, W, E, Q. And then I walk back, take the minion. Well, realize, oh, I need 2 minions because Nunu is in range. But in general, there's something to do uh, that's really good. And I use it in a lot of my videos. Is just when you're about to get level 6, you W, E, Q. Then you hit the minion, um, you know, when they least expect it. And you get 6 and you can take the W to kill them. Uh, it's especially a good combo with Conqueror. Because uh, if you hit the initial combo... You'll have your Conqueror stacks already for your all-in, and that'll be great. And luckily, I get flashed on, and I'm like, oh, well, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's like the first six minutes of the game. I'm coming back to lane now. I'm pretty strong. I have a bunch of items. Um, I wanted to show you guys something. So right here, I don't use my W because I don't know where Graves is, and I know Nunu is taking grubs. So I'm only just hitting it with auto attacks and saving spells. So a lot of the time you want to use autos on the minions and spells on the enemies. But I don't want to use my W because um, I was a bit scared of graves. And now I'm thinking to save it for the next wave as I see in bot lane. Then I use it right there to poke him. And yeah. Also when I initially came back to lane the wave was kind of like pushing towards me. But then I had more minions than him. So it's a bit awkward. Usually when the minions are on his side of the lane it's pushing towards you. But if you have more minions then... Yeah, as I said, it's awkward. And right here, I don't ult because I know he has egg. So I opt to poke instead. Something to keep in mind there. And when he hits level 6, I'm like, oh, well, this is kind of bad because I want to base and get my item. I have Eclipse in base. So I opt to just kind of let him use his ult there. But then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can kill him. It's kind of really sad I missed my Q because then I would get his egg and then I would all in with my ult. Um to kill him in his egg with my concrete stacks and right here i'm thinking about uh, freezing the wave but then i realized he pushed it really fast with his ult and the next wave is not a cannon minion wave if it was a cannon minion wave then maybe i would freeze but instead it's better to just push and base against anivia usually it's better to just push and base instead of freezing because she clears the waves faster which means that she gets tempo anyways so it's hard to freeze against her just because of how fast she pushes the waves and she gets like bigger timings to move and stuff or recall. Now I'm back in lane, I have Eclipse. I want to show you guys a combo. I see their jungle is going topside so I know I can fight. So W, E, Q and then you wait until your Q comes back up and the end of your W. And you take your W and then you ult and you Q them straight away like that. Hit both Qs and get the... I got her egg but in general that's a really good combo that you can use when you have Conqueror especially. Because, as I said earlier, the Conqueror stacks helps a lot. And it just lines up really well. So, yeah, I managed to poke her a bunch. And I can probably kill her. Um, yeah, I think I end up flashing on her. It's a bit of a spoiler. Alright there, just WQ. You know, if you think they're going to recall, walk up to the edge of the tower. And then judge if you want to use W. Right here, I'm just judging that Graves is not around. So, yeah, and then I go and I see her. It's a free kill. WQ or WWQ flash. I don't know what that was, but either way, I would have killed her with WW uh, flash auto E with Eclipse, but I just use Q in case. And now I can show you guys a decent little combo to use against Anivia. I know she's coming in through the right. And if Anivia holds their Q too much, you can just try this YOLO kind of W E and then you ult. And then you take your W because it takes you slightly away from your, where you're here after your ult. So he missed his Q right there. If I didn't use or take my W, um, then I would have gotten stunned. So yeah, that's a classic combo you can use against champs like Anivia or Varus. Um, you know, champs that have a spell that can just like go in straight line, which would counter your um, yeah your ult basically, and when you land. So yeah, that's a quick combo. As I take the tower and I get 800 gold from that, and like the next wave as well. Yeah. I'm so fed. And sometimes when you need like 100 gold. Um, so right now I need 100 gold for profane. I can't get minions or anything. It will kind of delay my base. And I see the kill. Sometimes you can just roam. And right here I'm just hoping they don't kill her. So I can get the kill. Which they don't. <laughs> so that's really lucky. Just take the kill and instant recall. Now I have profane. And I have teleport. So 
everything's just fine. But uh, now I see that Orn has TP and he's basing. So I tell him to just go there and I push. So I can get some more gold for myself because I'm nice and greedy. And also actually I do get like more value by having my TP up against Orn or like versus Orn's. Um, so yeah, I say I'm greedy, but it's better to do that. So Orn doesn't have TP, but I do. So maybe I can kill people um, if I use it well. Speaking of using my TP well, I kind of just use it randomly mid. <laughs> and then I know Anivia has no R, so I'm just like, well, might as well try this. He has no wall as well. And then he R'd again. I was like, oh, wait, he has no cooldown on it. Never mind. And then Graves comes out, and then I use my spells like that. I get really lucky that he failed his flash, because if he uses it properly, then I would die. But we take it. And if he is pinging me, I'm like, oh, I mean Nunu. I was like, oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, right. I forgot to, like, kind of explain as well. Like, when I go on Anivia right here, um, sometimes when you ult on people, you can buffer spells. So right there, I spammed my E or my Profane. Well, I think I used my Profane first as I ult onto him because I know he's going to Q me. So I'm spamming Profane and E and they both come out so that they both hit Anivia and they both give me my W cooldown reduced. Um, so it's really, really good because then my E goes on cooldown and my Profane while I get stunned. And then my E comes back up so I can E graves again to get my W. Just explaining it again, I guess. I end up coming back to lane and pushing mid all the way. And then I see the roam top. I don't want my top laner to die because that means the game could get pretty dicey. So instead we just do that. Make sure I get the cannon as well. So much gold for me. And as I come back to lane right now, I kind of want to wait outside his range to see if he uses Q. But then I just walk forwards and he uses it anyways. So yeah. And then I just jump on him, knowing he's dead. It's good to hold your spells a bit uh, once you know Anivia is going to die to your death mark, because then you want to use your shadows to kill him in his egg again. I end up getting a bunch of gold from farming and stuff. I see the enemy bot lane is trying to take our tower, so I TP. I buy Edge of Night because I know it's pretty good. And use WW Auto E first. You want to engage like that when you know that you're strong and they can't really one shot you, because you know you can get another W up after you E a couple times. Like that, I just kill their bot lane. Pretty easy. As I'm coming out of base right here, I'm thinking about wanting to fight because I'm really strong. So my bot lane's trying to defend mid and the enemies are going, to, going pretty ham. So now I'm just looking for the angle. I WQW flash auto E, just flashing into them to get more AOE. And I make sure I chase down the Jinx. Take my old shadow, auto E the, pro, the Fiora. And something against Fiora is that you don't want to use your Qs until she uses her W if you can. And you want to kite backwards towards your team. So if I just rewind this a little bit. Right here, I opt to go for this. And then W backwards. And then the Fiora just jumps in and dies. So a lot of Fioras will do that. As long as you're patient, they will always kind of int. So yeah, it's good to keep that in mind. After that, I think we take the Baron. There you go. And now we're sieging to end. I should get hit, hit by a Jinx W, which is really bad and troll. So when I use my W forwards right here and I poke them a bit, I don't take my W knowing that I don't have Edge of Night and I need to use a bit more of a conservative combo. I auto either Fiora, but then I realized maybe I didn't need to place a W backwards as I ulted onto Jinx. So maybe I could have just went more aggressive. But then again, it's always good to play nice and reactively, nice and patiently when you're ahead. So you make sure you don't get too complacent as you're trying to end the game. Um, so now we're just sieging. Again, against Fiora, you want to wait for her W. Right there, I have all the spells ready, and you can time it for right after her W ends to kill her straight away. And then we just jump on that guy who gets snowballed, and we end the game off that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it was useful and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.